poem can mean a lot of different things to different people. Along the coast of Maine, we have communities that have a really strong sense of place. Rockland Harbor has had a long history of being a vibrant working waterfront. Building schooners and ships, boat services, transporting lime, cement, and granite, and commercial fishing. is a little bit forgotten. For most people, when they think of the underwater world here in Maine, they think that it's cold, lifeless, and dark. you descend into a quiet world where you can take the time to slow down and stop and look at details. Some of the species in Rockland Harbor are residential and they stay put. These are the barnacles, the tunicates, species that don't have the ability to move as readily. And then there's other species that are more mobile. The crabs and the sea stars. Both sea stars and sea urchins have tube feet, which are these tiny appendages. They pick up their tube feet and then in unison will put a set of tube feet down to move them across the substrate. So this is a green sea urchin. Strongylocentrotus drobachiensis, which is actually the longest scientific name of any species. Sea urchins are really opportunistic. They can last up to a year without eating anything. A lot of the places that crabs and tunicates and barnacles find to live are man-made objects. The piers, as well as the abandoned piers, and the lost lobster traps. A pipe can become home for crusting tunicates and barnacles and sea urchins if they're trying to find a hiding spot from predators. The boats bring in hauls of herring and other fish that are used in bait for the lobster fishery.
Harbor seals are pretty prominent and have been around these parts for a while now. But a gray seal is definitely a relatively new sighting. In working with fishermen, they remember times when they were able to go fishing with their grandfathers and catch cod right here. We aren't seeing as many fish. As a scuba diver, you also have unique knowledge that, yes, there are a lot of lobsters down there. It's always a very exciting feeling to, to know that you can share that kind of information with people who might not think about the underwater world until they see someone coming out of it. I have only done two night dives in my life. Diving at night is frightening. I would expect to see more activity from some of the critters. There are beautiful, almost forest-like gatherings of sea anemones. There are lots of lobsters that move along and go about their business. We don't really have too many predators of lobster left in the Gulf of Maine other than fishermen at this point. Most anemones are residential, and so once they find a place, they are there for their lives. These organisms are part of Rockland Harbor and part of our home and have just as much a claim on Rockland Harbor and calling it their home as we do. They're really part of our community.